Adam folks, this is Jay. How you doing? I want to talk to you about Bertram Russell. Mr. Russell, I want to debate you, Mr. Bertram Russell. Wherever you are, you can try to hide from me. You might think that you are a great intellectual, Mr. Bertram Russell, but I want to debate you. You tell me to come to Cambridge and I will come and I will debate you and I will beat you. Yes, I will beat you. Take me anywhere and I will have an academic debate with you, Mr. Bertrand Russell. So, what is it? Are you going to say, oh no, I can't because I'm going to hang around with my Wittgenstein friend? Or are you going to say to me, oh, I'm too busy with my analytical philosophy? What is it, Bertrand Russell? I want you, boy. I want you now. And I will deal with you right now. I will debate you academically right now, Mr. Bertram Russell. Now, by now, you're probably laughing your head off and having a good time at my expense. I know that Bertram Russell's dead. But you know something? Asking to debate him, even though he's dead, is more likely than actually asking an atheist who's alive today to have an academic debate with them. You see, the modern atheists run away from academic debates. Iron Rath, Underfoot. Oh, we could go on and on and on, DPI Jones, Concordance. Oh, I go on and on and on. How they run away from academic debate. And so, I would much prefer to try and debate Bertrand Russell. I've got as much chance to debate him than I have these modern atheists. And the thing is, there was a Christian apologist called Sire Brugengate. And he's a pretty good, in fact, he's an excellent apologist. And the atheists won't debate him. In fact, they're kicking him off their shows. Yeah, they've even kicked him off free thought blogs. So, Sire Ten, Brugengate, and myself were probably better off debating with Bertrand Russell than these modern atheists. What do you think?